It's the vegetable segment here with Baron Bear on this Thursday evening, the 24th of October, and welcome along to you. Hope you've had a lovely day today, and thank you for joining me here in the studio. And tonight I'm going to tell you how you can make irresistible veggie burgers and a double batch of vegetable burgers well to make vegetable burgers you can add some carrots, zucchini, pumpkin, squash, anything you like and breadcrumbs and bind the ingredients up with some egg, egg, eggs and break crumbs and mix mix it all together sh shape the mixture into patties and salad fry until golden brown and make up a double batch of vegetable burgers so you can pack some into your kids lunch boxes rather than having the boring cheese and tomato sandwich or the boring scene in Vegemite. We must have some nutritional food for lunch such as these lovely vegetable burgers which I've just talked about. And also in this segment I will be talking about one ingredient which you can make a cake with and what is it? Yes, you guessed it. It's the carrot cake. Now, I will get on the carrot cake shortly. But with the vegetable burgers, guys, you cannot go wrong making them. Look up a recipe for veggie burgers and get the kids involved as long as there is an adult present in the kitchen if you are using a sharp knife and make sure that you wash your hands before touching the food and make sure that you wear an apron before you start cooking and after you have finished cooking, clean up the kitchen and leave it as you have found it. As you found it. Now getting back onto the vegetable burgers, guys, they are so irresistible. Your family will want to come back for more and more and more. You can even make up a dozen vegetable burgers if you like. You'll be eating vegetables right through the next week. And what else can you make with vegetables guys? Well, I have the answer for you right now here. You can make a vegetable casserole, a vegetable curry, a vegetable loaf, a vegetable slice, anything, anything. So look up a recipe for a vegetable slice, a vegetable curry, and a vegetable casserole. Have a look through some cookbooks and see whether you can find a vegetable casserole and vegetable curry or a vegetable slice. Now one ingredient which is used quite a lot in cooking and that is carrot. Now what can you make with carrot? Well a carrot cake. Look up a recipe for carrot cake and how to make it and what else goes in it. Make a cream cheese frosting to go over the carrot cake 
when it has been cooked, look up a recipe for the carrot cake and the cream cheese frosting. Now I would like to talk about the humble jack potato. Now what can you make with potatoes? Now you can make potato chips. Look up a recipe on how to make the perfect potato chips. And what else can you make with potato? Well you can make mashed potato and you must use good quality potatoes, okay? And, and what can you do with mashed potatoes? Well, you can spread it over um, a shepherd's pie and you can make potato cakes with it. Yum, oh, now who loves potato cakes? Look up a recipe. Um, for potato cakes. And what about potato bake? Also look up the recipe for potato bake. And, and you can make potato fritters, uh, potato nana. So look up the recipe for potato nana. And what about hassan back? potato book up a recipe for that. Now another thing you can do with potatoes is fill them with bacon and sour cream and even the mint, the mince mixture. Look up a recipe on how to make stuff that build potatoes or just use garlic butter and some grated cheese. Now what else can you make with, do with potatoes? You can roast them and mash them, boil them and bake them, put them in boil and cook on the barbecue, split, uh, cut them open and fill them with some mince and garlic butter and grated cheese. Yum oh. Now with the pump, pumpkin guys you can make pumpkin scones and you can bake a pumpkin, you can mash it, mash your pumpkin and use your pumpkin to make pumpkin scones. Yeah, I'm own. And look up a recipe for pumpkin scones. And this is a good way of using up vegetables, guys. Now what about corn? You can make a, a corn, a corn soup, a chicken and corn soup or corn fritters or just have cream corn on toast or serve corn kernels in a salad or have corn on the cob with some melted butter and what else can you you make with corn corn well you can make corn fritters yum oh and the last vegetable i'm going to talk about or, or a couple of them you can make stuffed zucchini stuffed caps capsicum a stuffed marrow uh, um, uh, and what about an eggplant casserole I'm gonna say this one more time look up a recipe for eggplant casserole so 
vegetables, guys. You cannot go wrong with them at all. So go and get some vegetables happening and cook up a nice healthy meal of vegetables tonight. I will be back later to tell you about how to make homemade potato chips. So stay tuned. Don't go away.